Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Forms to create a sign-in, sign-out sheet for your classroom. I did something with Google Forms about this a couple weeks ago, and some folks have asked how to do it in Microsoft Forms. So let's check it out. Go over here in your Microsoft Forms account at forms.microsoft.com. Click on New Form, and let's set this one up. And I'll use my real classroom here. I'm going to say, this will be our sign in, sign out for B239. If you ever come to my school and you're looking for me, that's my classroom. Okay. And let's say, you know, please fill this out whenever you leave or return to class. Now, Let's go ahead and add our first question. We'll do first name, last name, add those in. Those are going to be required. I want to make sure that my students put in the real names. Let's add another question in here. And we're going to add this as a multiple choice. Where are you going? And let's say we're going to the bathroom. We're going to the main office. We're going to the library. Shout out to my teacher librarians. And we'll say guidance office. And then we'll just add in an other option that kids can fill in if they're not going to one of those four options. And I'm going to make that required as well. Now, next item here is going to be when did you leave? I'm about to write in the time. And my next question will be, when did you return? Now, in both of these cases here, I've made these questions required, which means that when my students use this form, they're going to have to leave it open on their laptops or on their phones until they return and actually fill in their return time. So let's take a look at how this would appear to the student. Hit that preview button. We'll fill it out. Let's say you know it's Mason. He's going to go to the bathroom. When did he leave? Well, he's going to leave at 1.31 p.m. Now, when he leaves, he's going to lock his computer, or if he's filling this out on his phone, He's going to put his phone in his pocket with the form still open. When he comes back to the class, he's going to fill it in. Say he comes back at 1.35 p.m. And then he can submit it. And, of course, he can submit another response. Now, if we go back here, we can change this. And as a teacher, you might say you're not going to make these required questions. Maybe you'll just make this, when did you leave the required question, so that I know when they left, and when did you return? Well, I'm going to leave that one as not required, and so students will have to come back into the form again to fill it out when they return, or if they're leaving for the day from my classroom, they won't be on the hook to fill in a return time, because that sometimes does happen. You know, for example, if my student is signing out, maybe this is going to be Max. Maybe Max's other is he's you know, dismissed for doctor's appointment. And he's just going to leave at 1.15. He's not going to have to fill in a return time because he's dismissed for the day and he'll submit it. Now as the instructor, I can see the responses here, and I can see when everyone left. We get that whole little uh, list of responses. And of course, I can also open it as a spreadsheet to make it a little bit easier once I have a lot of responses in there. So that's how you can use Microsoft Forms as a sign-in, sign-out sheet in your classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.